Hi friends, my name is Arpita Karwa and in this video, I am going to talk about a very very important issue. And the issue is that we all make study timetables, study planners, but none of us are able to stick to that study timetable. So we all love making timetables when an exam is approaching, but how many of us are able to complete the daily task written in that timetable? If I have written five chapters I have to complete tomorrow, by the end of the day when I look at the timetable, I might find that I have only completed two. Now this is very very demotivating because we make such flawless timetables that if we stick to it, if we stick to that timetable very very particularly, there is nothing that can stop us from clearing this exam. Because our timetable has everything in place and it is so nicely designed that the only issue that is there in the timetable is execution. We all fail to execute the timetable properly. So in this video, I'm going to give you a short short technique using which you will be able to stick to your timetable from tomorrow. That is a promise from my side. In order to understand my technique, it is important for you to understand the type of task that you find in your day to day basis. So generally in a day, you are going to find two kinds of tasks, tasks that you like and tasks that you don't like. Tasks that you like are very easy to get completed because you like them and you love to do it. Like watching your favorite TV show on Netflix, talking to your friend over phone, chit chatting with your colleagues or maybe browsing through Instagram and shopping on Amazon. This is something that we are excited about and we do it without any burden. The issue lies in the second category, tasks that we don't like. Now, it's not that the task that we don't like, we don't do it. There are again two types of tasks in this particular category. Let us name them T1 and T2 for convenience. T1 are tasks which have a deadline attached to it or for which you have somebody to be accountable to. For example, paying the electricity bill. Every month you have to pay the electricity bill. Now, this is not something that you like doing, right? Going and then paying the electricity bill. It's such a boring task, but you still do it. Why? Because you know that there's a deadline. And if you don't stick to the deadline, there would be no electricity in your house. So you do it no matter what. Similarly, if you go back to your school life and you think about those project submissions that we had, no matter how busy were we, how occupied we were, but on the day of the project submission, we used to submit the project because we knew that there's a teacher waiting for us to submit the project. And if we don't submit it, we are going to lose marks. So there was somebody you were accountable to. And because you were accountable to somebody, you did it no matter what. Even if you were busy attending a friend's party throughout the day, at the end of the day, you're going to come back home, sit on the project overnight, finish it and then submit it the next day. So no matter how tiring, how boring the situation was, you were still able to complete those important tasks, right? That is because there was a deadline. Now we have another category of task in this particular list that is T2, task without a deadline. These are important tasks, but you don't have a deadline attached to it. For example, tomorrow you have listed in your study timetable that you are going to complete five chapters, but there's no deadline. So you only end up doing two by the end of the day. And there's nobody over your head to tell you that you have to do it or else there's a penalty waiting for you. So you skip it, right? And that is the reason why you are not able to accomplish your goals. So I'm going to tell you a very simple technique based on the research that I've done. If you look closely at T1 and T2, the reason why you are able to do T1 is because there's a deadline and there's a person you are accountable to. If you use the same technique in case of T2, very easily you will be able to accomplish T2s as well. I'm not telling this just because I have to make a video out of it. I've actually implemented it in my life from past one, one and a half months and I've seen miraculous changes. And based on that experience, I'm sharing this with you. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a very simple technique that is 
having an accountability partner that will help you to complete the important tasks that you have listed in your timetable but you usually don't complete it thoroughly. Before I tell you how you can have an accountability partner in your life and accomplish all the goals that are there in your list, let me tell you my journey with the accountability partner. So even I am somebody who is not self-motivated all the time. There are things that I write in a to-do list, but I don't complete it by the end of the day. And this kept on going for about a year. And I was really, really unhappy with the kind of life I was living because there were so many important things that I always wanted to make a part of my life, but I was not able to stick to it. I would stick to it for a day or two, but not consistently for over a period of time. One of the most important areas where I needed an accountability partner was healthy diet. So I am somebody who you can call a foodie. I'm a big time foodie and I have a sweet tooth. So I am attracted to anything that is having sugar in it. I love brownies, pastries and all the junk. But this was having an adverse effect on my health. So I decided that it is important for me to have a healthy lifestyle, to have a healthy diet and to have proper intake of water. I'm somebody who can go throughout the day without having a sip of water. I think I was a camel in past birth because of that. I've taken that genetics with me and, uh, you know, even in this birth. But keeping that joke aside, I'm somebody who would not drink water very uh, frequently. I don't feel thirsty and I don't feel an urge to drink water. So I tried all kinds of diet plans and everything, but I was not able to stick to it. So then I met with a dietitian who actually helped me to stick to the diet. And that is from where I got the idea of accountability partner. So what this dietitian does for me is that he's going to share a weekly planner with me, meals that I have to have every day. And every time I have a meal, he asked me to send a picture of that particular meal. Then on the same uh, day, he, I have to also send him images of empty bottles. So. Uh, throughout the day, I'm giving a target of drinking three liters of water. So every four hours, five hours, I have to finish a bottle and click a picture and send it to him. Similarly, every time I have a food that he has uh, prescribed, I have to click a picture, send it to him before having the food. And not only this, he also keeps a track of my steps. So I wear a Fitbit band and daily I have to complete a target of 10,000, some days 12,000 steps. And by the end of the day, around eight, nine o'clock in the evening, I have to send him the picture of my steps completed in a day. And this is what I've been following from quite some time now. And I've seen that I'm able to adapt to a healthy lifestyle. If I don't have somebody accountable to whom I have to send images constantly, I would not do all of this. The same thing goes with my workout routine. I'm somebody who is not very fond of working out. So I've tried a lot of gyms. I have also uh, tried online, uh, you know, classes like cult fitness, but nothing worked because I was not motivated to go and, you know, uh, do work out there. So then I hired a personal trainer. She comes to my house every day at a certain time and then she makes me work out. And this is how I'm accountable to somebody. Every day she comes and I have to work out. So I have somebody over me who is going to tell me that you have to do it. If I can only do 10 uh, rounds of Surya Namaskar, she's going to make me do 12 rounds of Surya Namaskar. And that is how she pushes me. And there's somebody over my head to push me. Or else if I would be doing it on my own, I would just do three rounds of Surya Namaskar and I would feel exhausted. Now I can do 12 rounds, 15 rounds of Surya Namaskar because she's telling me to do it. And she's sitting right in front of me and making me do it. The similar thing I started following for my daily office tasks. So I have a company to manage, I have a YouTube channel to manage. At times I don't feel motivated to do all these things. So I have a mentor who uh, is going to be my accountability partner for all the works that I have to complete. So every day I share a to-do list with her. And when I share the to-do list with her, I tell them that these are the tasks that I'm going to complete by this particular time. And then I have to send pictures of those tasks completed to her. So one, uh, one of the tasks written today was 
uh, filming this YouTube video and this was only possible because it was in my to-do list and I am accountable to somebody. So every night she's going to call me, she's going to take a follow-up that okay these were the tasks written, you have completed these much, you were not able to do these, why? She's going to ask me why, she's going to penalize me and that is how I'm going to stick to a routine. So this was my journey with different accountability partners for different issues that I'm facing in my life. Now the big question, how uh, you should be following this accountability partner technique? So the first important thing for this is that you have to look for accountability partner. Now who can be your accountability partner? It can be a friend, a mentor, a teacher, a relative, any family member or a stranger as well. The only uh, issue is that you need to ensure that this person is a little authoritative with you. If you have your best friend as your accountability partner, you might not do it and you might not care. But if you have somebody to whom you feel a relationship of boss and subordinate, you feel that person is authoritative, only then you will feel that urge to be accountable to that person, to finish the task, to send him and there would be a constant pressure uh, on your head because you have to report to this person. So make sure your accountability partner is strict with you and is authoritative. He should not be same level as you. Now, how to execute the plan? So the first step in accountability partner technique is that every night you share a to-do list with that person on WhatsApp, on email, on text message, any way which you are convenient with. Share a to-do list with that person of the task that you would be completing tomorrow. If you want to be very strict with you, also add a deadline, a time deadline. For example, you're going to complete chapter one by 9 a.m. tomorrow. That should be how you list down your uh, to-do list to that person. The second step would be the next day onwards you are going to complete a task before the deadline, click the image of the task complete and send it to that person. If the image is not possible you can think of an alternative way to tell that person that you have completed the task. Now we all are adults guys so there's no scope of cheating of telling lies to the accountability partner because all of this you are doing is to ensure that you succeed, you reach your goal. So you have to maintain that integrity uh, and you have to be very strict with yourself that only when you complete the task you send it to the accountability partner. Now the third step would be every night around 8 or 9 o'clock when you call it a day you call the accountability partner or the accountability partner calls you and takes your follow-up. What all tasks did you complete? What all you did not complete? And why you did not complete? Sometimes we overestimate and underestimate the time that is required to complete a task. So with time over a week, you will be able to understand that how much time you're needing for a particular work and you will be able to stick to the deadlines. Also, between you and your accountability partner, you can decide what will be the penalty if you don't finish a task. Maybe that can be missing up on any task that you like maybe not watching your favorite tv show or maybe having a desert if you complete all the tasks listed in your to-do list so this is a three-step formula that you can follow in order to stick to any timetable be it a study timetable a workout timetable a healthy diet timetable or even if you want to become an entrepreneur and you have a set of goals listed you can even use an accountability partner to uh, you know, fulfill and meet that goals. Even if this sounds a little bit ridiculous to you, I'm telling you that please mark my words and give it a try at least for three or four days and see how much improvement you can see in your execution of timetable. I'm pretty sure you will be able to accomplish all the tasks that you were not able to do before you had an accountability partner. Because understand the uh, formula guys, work expands and contracts as per the time given. So when you have given yourself a deadline that you would be finishing this chapter within two hours, no matter what happens on the earth, you would do it it in two hours because your mind is going to work fast in order to complete it and if you have given five hours to complete that particular chapter you can complete it in five hours as well so work expands and contracts as per the time given jitna deadline aap bana lete hai, us deadline mein aap kaam kar paate hai. 
जस्ट बिकॉज आपका दिमाग को पता होता है कि मुझे इतने बजे तक काम करना है तो आपकी स्पीड उस हिसाब से एडजस्ट हो जाती है सो आई होप दिस टेक्निक वुड हेल्प यू टू रीच योर गोल्स टू अचीव योर टारगेट्स विद दैट नोट आई वुड लाइक टू टेक योर लीव दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वील मीट यू वेरी सुन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर टिल द टाइम वी मीट नेक्स्ट हैप्पी लर्निंग कीप लविंग लिटरेचर एंड स्टेट यून टू अर्पिता करवा डॉट कॉम